Hello all and welcome to another video in the intro to music composition. It's Cody Wyman again and in this video we're going to go over the other treble clef varieties. Yes, there are other treble clefs. As you can see in the brilliant finale photo right here, um, there are other treble clefs. Um, they include the soprani soprano clef, the sopranino clef, and much more. So I'm going to go over these. Let's go into finale and look at some more. And I'm going to say this is the this is the regular treble clef, of course. Then on number six, you have the what's called the modern tenor clef now, um, which is the treble clef with the 8 VA below it and you have number 9 on this list which is the French violin clef, the G4 G number 4, what would be G4 on the piano is actually on the first line of the clef and not the second line. Note that it actually moves down because the French violin is a fourth lower or so than the regular C instruments. So they have to pitch the clef lower in order to get the same sound that you would otherwise get on C instruments. So that's one of the reasons why it's that way. Um, then you've got the treble clef over here, letter E. Um, which is basically the sopranino clef which is the with the eight above it that's actually higher than the soprano clef higher than the regular treble clef it's actually way up in the stratosphere it's probably mostly used for instruments that are really teeny tiny or if it's if they really wanted to be outlandish with the piano and capture uh, the highest notes of the piano uh, without having to do ledger lines. So that is one of those uses. And then the sub octave treble clef. It's a treble clef with the 8VA written below it. That's basically the tenor clef like I said again. And those are the typical types of clefs that you will see. Sometimes you will see a picture of what looks like two treble clefs side by side. I think that is another version of sopranino clef. The second treble clef next to the first one denotes it to be an octave higher. So I would say for an assignment this time practice drawing all of those clefs and where they stand. This is going to be very very important. The sub octave clef of a tenor clef has the loop of the ampersand around the G and so does the one with the AVA above it the only one that has the G4 on the first line of the staff would be the French violin clef okay so practice drawing those clefs and we will take a look at the bass clefs in the next video series